Sometimes it hurts when we want to heal. Hi, everybody. Kevin Barright here, and thanks for tuning in. I remember when my son, Tyler, was about two years old, I think. He was going in for a shot, and it was a big deal, but Tyler wanted to be a brave boy, and he sat with us, and the doctor came in. And I remember watching Tyler as the needle went in, looked us right in the eye and said, ow, that hurt. And then one little tear just kind of came down his, his cheek. And we all thought, what a brave little boy. What a strong boy. Wow, you really did well, Tyler. I gotta be honest with you, Tyler hates needles. He's 20 years old, and if you even think about talking to him about a needle, he runs out of the room. None of us love to get that shot in the arm. None of us love to take the medicine when we need it. But I know for me, I understand that maybe that shot's gonna hurt. Maybe my arm's gonna be sore even for a few days. But I know when the pain goes away that the immunization's going to last, that my system's going to have been changed. And that's what I want. I want that long-term gain. And I'm willing to suffer that short-term pain. And during the week, like you, most of you know, I, I've been thinking about the topic and what I wanted to talk about today, and I was juggling a couple of them. And one was the ultimate immunity which is what I think I'm gonna title this. And the other topic was about the story of the little boy throwing the starfish back into the ocean. Actually, my wife was telling me the story, it was a little girl. So this little girl's walking up and down the beach and she's pulling one starfish after another off the beach and throwing it back in the ocean. And an older gentleman comes along and says, what are you doing there, little girl? And she's like, well, I, I'm helping the starfish, throwing them back in the ocean. If I leave them here, they're gonna die. And he said, but, but little girl, he said, look up and down. For miles, there's starfish. There must be millions of them. H how, can you, how can you make a difference? You can't make a difference. And she thought about it for a minute, and she looked down and shrugged and picked up one of the starfish and tossed it back into the ocean and said, made a difference with that one. And it's been so important to me over the years to make sure that I recognize the people in my life that picked me up and threw me back into the ocean. It's been so important to me to reach out to Jane McCarthy, who when I was in group homes and foster homes and detention centers was my therapist and made such an impact on my life. It was so important to me to reach out to Bernie. Hi, Bernie, who was my probation officer when I was younger and was there right by my side, gave me a lot of tough love, but gave me some of the best advice that I carry with me today and is still my friend to this day. And in early sobriety, when I was just starting to go back to college and was afraid to even take one course, my freshman English teacher, Connie Ostrowski, changed my life by inviting me into the honors English class and teaching me about poetry and giving me just a whole love of learning and a, a whole love of, of language. Thank you, Connie. And while each one of these people, Connie and Bernie and Jane and many others, were that little girl or that little boy for me, throwing me as a starfish back into the ocean, giving me another chance so that I don't, I don't dry up and die on the beach. I don't know if any of them thought of themselves as helping me or saving me, but they did. I don't know if any one of them thought of themselves as selfless or giving, but they were. And I don't know if any one of them could have foretold the effect that they would have on my life and that I would have on others' lives, but it's happened. It's changed everything for me. The things that they did, the, the way that they treated me, the love that they had for me, the words that they spoke, and sometimes the words that were unspoken. The ones that could have been harsh, but instead were just quiet, gentleness. That stillness that each one of them had in their hearts and in their demeanor and in their minds and in their bodies and in their souls that allowed me to have a sense of peace, a sense of safety, a place where I could be confused and be lost and struggle and not know the answers and not even feel loved and yet know that I was safe to feel unloved. I was safe to feel unwanted. I was safe to feel afraid. I was safe to feel hopeless and helpless. And that story is wonderful because it speaks of the, the selflessness of that little girl, the act of throwing one back one at a time and not thinking of themselves or how long it's gonna take or how little they're actually helping, just that selflessness, that humility that comes with that. But I think there's a flip side to that story. What about the starfish? How does the starfish feel? What do the starfish do? Starfish goes on and may not even live, may not even survive, maybe just get washed right back up on that beach. But maybe they do make it. Maybe they do survive. Maybe they do have another chance at life. And if like me, they're the starfish that actually flourishes 
and gets grounded in this world and is able to, to help others and to care about others and to have a family and to love and to cherish the world around them, then maybe the kind of starfish I want to be is the one that remembers to say thank you. The kind of starfish that when things are confusing and seemingly hard and maybe impossible and I'm on the beach and I don't know what's gonna happen that not only do I hope that someone's gonna pick me up and throw me back in the water but that I remember the last time someone picked me up and threw me back in the ocean and I remember to reach out and say thank you for that. Thank you Jane for helping me. Thank you Ber Bernie for being there for me and for still being there for me and thank you Connie even though you may never watch this and may never hear these words, you changed my life. And in the end, those are the two kind of people that I want in my life. Those who are willing to be helped by me and those who are willing to help me. And that's the kind of person that I want to be. The kind that's willing to help others and the kind that's willing to accept help. See, because whether it's a doctor giving a shot that causes a little bit of short-term pain for long-term gain or a little girl with just a little bit of hope and a lot of gumption, just one at a time, making little efforts to, to help along the way. Both, both of those kind of people are who I wanna be. And I wanna be that kind of guy like the starfish, that even though sometimes I can feel helpless and hopeless, when someone picks me up and throws me back in the ocean, I am grateful and I am full of love and life and adventure and hope and perseverance and tenacity. And more than anything else, I have to be honest, I want to be just like my son Tyler in every way, shape, and form. I want to be that little boy that steals up and has confidence that while that needle's going to hurt for a minute, it's going to help me for a lifetime. Because for me, the ultimate immunity comes from loving others and allowing myself to be loved. By caring for others and allowing myself to be cared for. By opening myself up to even people I don't understand and who don't understand me opening up my heart and opening up my mind. Even though I know sometimes being with other people might hurt. Even though I know sometimes I'm gonna feel like I'm washed up on the beach and I'll be scared out of my wits. I can trust that the short-term struggles that I go through, they'll pass like they've passed before. And if I can be the best person I can be, if I can be my son Tyler and like the little starfish, then we can come out this the other side, stronger, closer than ever, and knowing that we have a future together. And the only way that I can do that is to remember that while I wanna be that little boy and I wanna be that starfish, I gotta remember with all my heart and soul, you're that little boy, you're that little girl, you're that starfish too. And I wanna cherish you and I wanna be open to you and I wanna know you and I want you to know me. I hope that you'll do two things when you get done watching this video. I hope that you'll spend a minute and think about the short-term pain that you might be experiencing and remember some short-term pain that you've experienced in the past and how it's helped you to grow and how it's helped you to become immune to the next time when that similar kind of pain comes along, how it makes you stronger, how it makes you wiser, how it makes you more spiritually fit and capable. And then I want you to do one other thing, if you, if you can, if you want, if you will. Think about someone, someone that's reached out to you when you were on the beach, when you felt dried up, scared, and alone. And they, they picked you up and tossed you back in the ocean and gave you another chance. Can you reach out to that one person, maybe two, maybe three people? Just reach out to them. Say thank you. Just tell them that they made a difference. And then maybe you and I, and maybe all of us, will be more willing to take the next shot, take the next vaccination, and become immune in a spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional way to what we know is coming next. More struggles, more difficulties, more confusion. But we can do this. We can do this together. And I want you to trust me, and I want to trust you, that when one of us is on the beach and dried up and scared, the other will come and pick them up and throw them back in the water. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Please like the video and share this with others. If you please comment on this video, I'd love to interact with you. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Take care.